Hey guys, I want to show you how to convert all of your audio files into WAV files. Uh, sorry, I can't be there in class today. Uh, but converting them into what's called WAV files uh, is really necessary and important before we use them in uh, Audacity. So why don't you go into PowerDirector, it'll look something like this. I have a slightly different version than we have at school. Um, and then we're going to import all our media. But this time around, um, all of your uh, media is going to be just music files. So let me find some music files I recorded in class yesterday. Here they are. <clears throat> I'll open them up. I'm going to record, I'm going to produce each one separately. So I'm going to take this one called Chris and move it down to my timeline. I'm going to go into produce. I'm going to click these, this music icon. Yours is going to be slightly different than this, but you should have pretty much the same thing here. And then from here you have your options. Um, your options might appear in this bar here. I think mine are up here. So waveform. So wave, W-A-V is the short version of that. So as long as it's a waveform, that's great. I'm going to tell it where to save. For me, I'm just saving it on my desktop because I'm at home. You are going to save it on your class projects folder that you should already have set up. So just call it the same thing. It's going to be called this. It was called Chris. It's going to be called Chris. But now, as you can see, it's going to be saved as a WAV file. Hit save, and then I have to hit start. This should be super quick because these are really small files compared to what you were doing before. And it's already done. You didn't even see the timeline. Okay, so that one's done. Got to go back into the editing room. I'm going to delete Chris from the timeline. <clears throat> I'm going to go get uh, the next one for me called Mary. I'm going to produce it. I'm going to make sure waveform selected. Again, I think you do it in a line here. I'm going to tell it where to save. You're going to save it in your class projects. And I'm going to hit start and boom, it's done. So go ahead and do that for every single audio file you have. I realize it's a little tedious, but it's something we need to take care of before we open Audacity.